high strength. But what happened is Julie was a 26-year-old financial analyst for this company. And the CEO said to me, you know, I would take her with me when I go and have lunch with the president of National City, when I meet with the president of whatever, I would take her with me. The problem is, each day, I don't know how she's dressed. I don't know if she's dressed appropriately or not. And I'm not going to go get up and look and see what she wore today before I invite her to come to this appointment. OK, so the next time I met with her, I said, now, remember, she has the technical. She's a financial analyst at 26. She has the technical knowledge that she needs. But remember, we said, technical is not what's going to make it for you. It's the, the people skills. So I said, Julie, tell me something. When you get dressed in the morning, how do you decide what to wear? And she said, well, I look at my calendar, and I see what I have for that day. Problem one, why is that a problem? Why would a boomer or a mature know that that's a problem? It's always that unanticipated meeting or thing you have to substitute. Absolutely. In theory, in an MBA class, that sounds fine. But when, once you've been in the workplace, you know that things are going to happen throughout the day that you did not plan on. So number one, that was her first problem. Okay, But I let her continue. And so she said, you know, but I'm always dressed appropriately. Aha. Uh -huh. What did I do with that one? What would you have done with that one? I'd have to ask her what her definition of appropriate was. Exactly. Who's deciding that? See, my belief is the person who signs the paycheck decides appropriate dress. Now, that's really a wild concept in today's world because somewhere along the line, workplaces decided casual Friday. The people signing the check did not decide that. But in my world, the person who signs the paycheck gets to decide appropriateness. So the problem in her little theory was it was appropriate to her. Well, let's say that you're going to give a speech in front of 500 people. And I say, well, you know, part of what I do as a communication expert is 